Hey guys, I'm back and I just wanted to do a quick video about uh, the latest statue I got. This is uh, the Messenger Z statue that was made by HL Pro. Uh, the statue is limited to 200 pieces and as you can see it is one beautiful beast. Uh, this statue is one of the first statues that HL Pro has uh, done. Usually they, uh, they, they specialize in vinyl collectibles uh, and nothing this big to be honest. Uh, uh, I have a lot of their creations in terms of uh, old school Japan animation. Uh, this is the first time that they've done something like this and to be honest, it is simply amazing. Uh, they've went with a rocket punch pose that, uh, as you can see, he's boosting into the air. Uh, there's a, The b base has like a smoke lightning effect. This is the number, as you can see, number 15 out of 200. And... Uh, uh, it's simply quite exquisite. I was not sure what to expect, but uh, honestly, once I unboxed it, I am really happy with the results. Uh, the base itself has a light up feature uh, because they've used uh, transparent resin in the bottom, and I think that's where it lights up. I haven't tested the light up feature because the battery compartment requires a screwdriver to unscrew and uh, frankly I just got home from work and I'm really tired so maybe I'll get around to that a bit later but to be honest light up features the statues uh, isn't a big thing for me anyway so in terms of looks I think the base as you can see is okay nothing too great but uh, I understand the idea behind it. It's a dynamic pose for him. That's, that's the switch that you activate the light up feature from. And I guess if you think that way, then the base works. But personally, I would have preferred the much more simpler base. I mean, just my honest feedback. But uh, the main action in the statue is right here. There he is just simply amazing guys uh, they have used translu uh, translucent uh, resin as well in the hand and it does look quite amazing if you look at it this way I'm going to do some high-res photography as well in a while and I'll post that on my Instagram um, if you can check it out there it's pop underscore culture underscore mad on Instagram so please check it out but uh, I wanted to get this YouTube review out real quick so people can know what to expect. And if you were one of the 200 who ordered this, then I'd definitely say you're in for a pleasant surprise. Beautiful statue. The paint is spot on, perfect. They went with the manga look. And Big Z couldn't look better, man. Simply amazing. Uh, I like the fact also that they went this time because usually HL Pro does limited edition variants, but they don't include a card. I love the fact that they've included the uh, certificate of authenticity, so that's good in terms of value. And uh, like one thing, I I would love to have seen the number on the base as well because right now the number is only on the COA, not on the base. So next time, maybe if you if Fetcher Pro does continue this line of statues, and I hope they do, because you did an amazing job, guys. Uh, maybe include the number on the base. That helps. Uh, for those interested, the statue was about I think four hundred fifty dollars shipped to anywhere in the world. Uh, it comes with a shipper box, but does not come with an art box. So if you get it and you don't find an art box, don't be surprised. That's the way they've gone with, and frankly, it doesn't detract much from the statue as far as I'm concerned. So, if you're a Messenger fan, 
I definitely recommend that you go with this statue. It is really beautiful. It's one of the few Mazinger statues that we have anyway. And I love the fact that they went with this scale and size. Because this scales well with my other, you know, quarter scale statues and bigger. So I definitely love that. And I really hope that they continue with this line of statues and they go ahead and give us hopefully my other favorite uh gonna guy character grindizer so here's hoping take care guys thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more awesome videos